Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the University of Chile, we give you the most cordial welcome to the ceremony in which our institution awards the Rectoral Medal to Dr. Yuji Inoue. Presiding the ceremony, the Rector of University of Chile, Professor Rosa de Vez Alessandri. She is accompanied in the headset by Professor Marcela Munizaga, Acting Dean of the Faculty of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, and Dr. Yuji Inoue. We also appreciate the presence of Professor Hector Ramirez, the Director of the Center of Mathematical Modeling, and Professor Servet Martine and uh, Jaime San Martin, uh, our National Prizes of Science in the Center for Mathematical Modeling, all other academics and colleagues of the university professors present. Uh, thank you very much for being with us today. We gather today to distinguish an outstanding bachelor, magister, and doctor of engineering from the University of Kyushu, Japan, Dr. Juji Inoue. To begin with, I invite Professor Marcela Munizaga, acting dean of the Faculty of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, to deliver her greetings and words. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it is my honor today to introduce you Dr. Yuji Inoue. Uh, he was born in 1948 in Fukuoka, Japan, and received the bachelor in 1971, master in 1973, and PhD in 1986, all degrees from Kyushu University. He is a lifetime fellow of IEEE. He has received many awards, among them an Entity President Award and two Japanese Minister Awards. He has written and edited many technical books. Dr. Yuji Inoue joined the research and development efforts of Nippon Telegraph and Telephone Corporation in 1973. He was first engaged in the development of digital network equipment, equipment and systems at NTT Laboratories and in the standardization of Integrated Services Digital Network, ISDN, as well as Synchronous Digital Hierarchy, SDH, among others at the International Telecommunications Union, ITUT. Later, he was the chairperson of technical committee in the Telecommunication Information Networking Architecture Consortium, Taina C. He was responsible for the software development to allow the interoperability of various multimedia communication services. In 1997, he led the Global Business Development Division when NTT was deregulated to operate worldwide. He moved to NTT Data Corporation to head its R&D as a board member in 2000. He moved back to NTT Shareholding Company as a board member and CTO to direct NTT Group's entire R&D with 6,000 researchers and engineers and a budget over $3 billion. In 2006, he was the candidate proposed by Japan for director of ITUT. Based on this vast experience, he joined the Telecommunications Technology Committee, TTC, in 2007 as the president and CEO. Since 2008, he has been a member of the International Board of Industrial Advisors of the Center of Mathematical Model, CMM, of the University of Chile. That is the most important for us. <laughs> Playing a key role in strengthening the academic and scientific collaboration between Chile and Japan. He has made significant contributions to the international collaboration of the University of Chile, especially to the connection of the Center of Mathematical Modeling with other world class research centers in Japan. In 2010, he moved to Toyota Info Technology Center as the chairman of the board 
where he was leading Toyota Motor Company as one of the cutting edge connected car service providers. After nine years of contributions to Toyota, R&D, he retired from these leading positions and started his own company. He is now the president and CEO of No Ed Nova Company, which provides consultation services on the front edge of technology, technologies and businesses based on his rich and wide wing experience. We are certain that Dr. Yuji Inoue is an exceptional engineer and researcher who has contributed to the development of ICTs worldwide, demonstrating an unmatched interest in the progress of emerging countries, and in particular, Chile. Furthermore, we, we, we believe he will value the distinction of our house of studies as a recognition of his scientific career. His exemplary contribution to the development of telecommunications in Japan and his significant contribution to the scientific and technological advance of our country and the University of Chile. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dean Munizaga. The distinction rectal Rectoral Medal is granted to illustrious visitors, important personalities, and to, the, and to honor the memory of Chileans and foreigners who in life have exhibited the requirements to be deserving of this distinction. It is also given to members of the university community who have carried out actions and services in favor of the university, who have shown a special ability and dedication or have contributed to increasing the prestige of the university at the national and international level. The medal consists of a 38 millimeter circular silver disc. On the front, it shows the semicircular legend of the university. It also displays the shield of the university with the representative symbols of its original faculties, a radiant star above it, and surrounded by knotted oak and laurel branches. On the reverse, it has a circular legend, rectoral medal, followed by the name of the person distinguished and the year in which it was awarded. Now, the highest authority of our institution, the president of the university, uh, rectora and professora Rosa de Vesa Lesanti, will award the rectoral medal distinction to Dr. Yuji Inoue. I invite both of you to please come to the front. Thank you very much. And next, don't sit, Yuji. You will, we will invite you to say a few words to us. First of all, this is my great honor uh, to uh, get this uh, best medal of uh, University of Chile. Thank you very much for everybody. Uh, and I'm sure that the many people contributed on, uh, or making an efforts to, to, for me to receive this medal. So then I appreciate very much all of you, especially the uh, rector, to select me as one of the medal the recipients. And very, very thank you very much for this one. And, Maybe Edward was saying that just a few words, but <laughs> uh, as usual, that uh, I would like to explain myself was introduced, and so then I'd like to introduce what 
I have been doing here. Maybe the stupid things, but uh, now when I met uh, Professor Vera uh, Edward, the uh, just 30 years ago, when he was the postdoc and visiting entity labs, we met. Tapundi, it's it's not let's say well organized, but Tapundi, the uh, at the, we I uh, was making the barbecue party in my group. So then the my friend named the Wakabashi, the he introduced him to me at that barbecue party. So then that was the first occasion. And uh, we had a very similar chemistry, so chemists, so the, we got friends immediately and then started uh, our very close relationship with him while he is in Japan. And uh, when the, he decided and, or he was requested as the director, I think that the director position or not, no, maybe responsible for the incubating the broadband services or broadband network in over Chile and firstly in this university. Then uh, he came to me and his, the original expert is different from the networking. And my originality is the networking. <laughs> so, so why not have the, uh, the supporting team to him? And that is named the Access Nobel. That was named uh, by Edward. And this, by using that, uh, we, I the selected the, about the 10, main, the 10 members from the NDT labs in different uh, the groups. And, and then Edward they started to recruit uh, students and the professors when, uh, after he returned to this university. And the Access Nova project started. And we, have, we had a variety of projects by using this Access Nova project. And one of the outstanding one is that the, uh, it was 25 years ago, your president, uh, Frey, President Frey visited Japan for inaugurating, uh, it, it was a hundred centennial, uh, centennial the, uh, let's say, memorial, uh, memorial between the Japan and Chile. So by using that, that chance, we they recruited him to start the uh, cabinet meeting in a telecommunication style. Now, you see, now it's very common, but 25 years ago, and speed of the opposite side, connecting the opposite side of the, the growth, uh, us, it's only 128 kilobit per second, not megabit per second. So we did a lot of job to make that uh, cabinet a success. And in reality, the cabinet, to my eye, went very well because that sometimes the cabinet members were making smile, and the vice president is was in the you, you, auditorium. yeah auditorium yes. So this is one uh, exceptional let's say uh, experiences, and uh, through this uh, access to our uh, Activity, the the President Frey visited two times. So. No, next. Two, two times, yeah. No, yeah, two times. Yes. So the first one was that occasion. Second one, he could visit our laboratories. To we gave him the uh, latest technologies, and through this kind of things, the uh, we reached to the Kodelco and established the uh, ICT supporting company, joint activity between the Kodelco and NTT. 
And that now they started, and uh, I brought at the time my the CEO here, and uh, he was enjoying a lot of red wine and, <laughs> and nice food here. So this kind of things, and uh, uh, as related to this uh, uh, CMM activity, CMM, I, the Edward uh, created the uh, IAB meeting, International Advisory Board meeting. So I, together with Mauricio and uh, Alvaro, uh, were the first member of that IAB, and then it was uh, 15 years ago. And I do hope our the recommendation and the suggestion could help CMM a bit, but maybe including the stupid opinions and, and uh, you you are, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but anyhow, the just before this ceremony that we had the uh, we, we had we have been that the uh, IAB meeting and then. Uh, together with three, uh, we make uh, our final suggestion the, by hearing and, uh, each group. And the point is that, that there are a lot of points, but the, the general point is that to seek the business opportunity. And in Chile, very, very frankly, the, most of the major industries are saturated. So its growth will not be so high. So you should seek, as a Chile, new industry area. And you have lots of seeds here we are now finding. One is the Copernicus area. Copernicus, uh, you may not, may not know, but that's one area. And to me, another area is uh, really the, the uh, ocean area the so-called climate, the, now you, have, you started the jobs. And in ocean area, as I was saying 120 kilobit per second from the old side of the uh, hemisphere, but in the sea, there's no technology at all, no wireless communication at all. So even the submarine of the military needs to communicate, when it needs to communicate, they have to come up to the surface. In the 200 meters depth, the current technology just gives you maybe at most 100 meters reachability. So this is a huge challenge area from the technology point of view and how to use that technology. So this is, I, I am giving you two examples. And Second, third example is the, the sky. You have only one country to have the sky open to the astronomers. So if I start to, to explain this kind of thing, so I cannot stop my mouth. <laughs> so <laughs> I should stop here. So, uh, so this kind of the collaboration now the, uh, we have been doing, and I am very uh, happy and uh, enjoying to discuss with uh, you members, and uh, I'm willing to continue my uh, hopefully the contribution, not uh, disturbing uh, with you. So thank you very much, and for receiving this important message. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yuji, and uh, since uh, I will say a few words out of the script as well. And uh, I think that one of the most amazing things about Yuji is that not only his friendship with Chile, but he has a vast network of connections in the world, and he generously shared that with us. So I think that uh, Alejandro and uh, Jaime, uh, Jose Miguel, and many others in, in CMM, Professor Letelier, have really benefited from that generosity. And uh, I think that this is really outstanding because he has helped us connect to the global community uh, on the human level, not only the network, but on the human level. That's been 
I think, extremely important for all of us. And uh, so I think that is a really very, very well-deserved recognition. So um, sorry to take those words, but I think it's uh, very important uh, to, for me to, to, uh, to tell you and to share those thoughts with you. So finally, I have the honor to request uh, Professor Rosa de Vez, Rector of the University of Chile, to give us the final words of this ceremony. Good afternoon, everyone. Rinoe, thank you for your kind words and your vision, for sharing your vision. I wish you had continued. It was very interesting. And also to our acting dean, Marcela Munizaga. I have to change my glasses. It is an honor to be granting the Rector's Medal to Dr. Juji Inoue. This distinction recognizes the contribution of members of the University of Chile who have carried out actions in favor of the University, increasing its prestige, as it was said before, at the national and international level. And it also is awarded to illustrious visitors and important personalities. Alongside recognizing Dr. Inoue's numerous contributions across various fields, we thank him for sharing his extensive technological experience with the university scientists and engineers as a member of the International Board of Industrial Advisors at the Center of Mathematical Modeling. I must say that we have always heard about his exceptional human qualities and remarkable sensitivity in understanding diverse cultures and circumstances. All those who have had the opportunity to work with Dr. Inouye uh, agree that few individuals can bridge the cultural gaps between East and West like you do. This is the occasion to express gratitude for three decades of friendship and collaboration in multiple applications of uh, information and communication technologies across various fields of knowledge. These applications have ranged from astronomy to copper mining, environmental monitoring, and healthcare services. We also thank him for encouraging numerous visits of Japanese researchers to Chile, as well as permanently welcoming our faculty members and students. This has had a profound impact in connecting our university to a wide network of world-class scientific and technological leaders, making us part of the most interesting frontier R&D initiatives. Dr. Juju Inoue was also key for establishing the Chile-Japan Academic Forum, a most successful platform of interdisciplinary collaboration uh, led by the University of Tokyo and the University of Chile in collaboration with the Catholic University of Chile, which has served as the fertile incubation space of numerous binational R&D efforts during the last decade. His journey through major global companies, serves as an excellent example of the dialogue that can be established between academia and industry, highlighting a path for innovation and entrepreneurship, one of the challenges of our university at present. The Rector Medal serves not only as a recognition, but also as an act of gratitude. Therefore, today we extend our gratitude to Dr. Yuri Inoue for fostering a bond with our university and enhancing our academic activities through collaboration. His brilliant career has served as an inspiring guide for numerous students in our university who have had the opportunity to appreciate his work as a successful amalgamation of professional practice and applied research. Dr. Inouye, please accept our gratitude and admiration for your exceptional career. Thank you very much. So thank you very much, Rectora Rosa de Vez. And to conclude this ceremony, I invite you all to stand up and sing the anthem of the University of Chile. <laughs>